Honestly, I feel bloated. It was awful. We're gonna try wearing low-rise jeans for a full week. I've always been aware of the 90s trend of low-rise jeans, but I was like a baby during that time, so I didn't really partake. I'm an older millennial. I lived through the 90s. It was awful. I stuck to a very tomboy look because I was playing soccer and I was friends with the guys. I didn't like latch on to a lot of those trends when I was a kid. Low-rise jeans have become so popular again, and I'm seeing it all over my For You page on TikTok, but I've also seen some people talking about how when it was really popular in the 90s and 2000s, it contributed to unhealthy beauty standards. For me, especially being a curvier person, I'm interested to see how these jeans are gonna actually fit over my behind. I'm nervous. I wear crop tops, so it's not like I don't show my body. And I do work out a lot, so I'm very proud of what I look like. But, but, the whole abdomen and below, like what? I don't think there's enough crunches and sit-ups in the world to prepare myself for this, so I'm just gonna have to be excited. We're going to open them up and see what they look like. These are some cute jeans. Cover girl, empower your style. Let's see how empowered my style's gonna be in these jeans. Like, I don't think we do ripped jeans so much anymore, but that was so big in the 90s and 2000s. They look like very 90s with the wash and details which is not exactly my style but maybe it'll look good i'm not as like freaked out as i thought i was gonna be i'm a genie in a bottle gotta rub me the right way <laughs> these are like right below my belly button they pretty much cover the back these jeans are paper thin i went with this top because it's really bright it's really colorful it's very like bohemian vibes i feel like it's cute and it shows off the jean. I feel a need to flex my stomach because it's exposed. Like, it's totally fine like this, but I feel like I have to do this the whole time. I'm not wearing this out and about where I'm gonna be moving too much because I'm just gonna be hiking these things up every two seconds, but they're not as bad as I thought they were gonna be. What about the fact that my whole stomach is exposed? What? We're in America. Are you okay with me running errands with you in this outfit? Yes, of course. Okay. Why not? Thank you. I was worried. I thought you would be like, oh, no. cover your stomach. No, no, no. Those days are gone. I definitely feel like a MILF in training walking around with my low-rise jeans and my heels. Like, I totally felt like a bad bitch. These are like a bonus pair because they are not only low-rise, but they are bell bottomed as well. So these are gonna be fun. If you get jeans off of Amazon, read the reviews because these are like, it's like cardboard that somebody is trying to pass off as um, being denim, but it's not. This is the boyfriend jean that's kind of like more baggy style that I saw on Pretty Little Thing. This is completely different than anything I own, which is gonna be a great challenge for me style-wise but also because it's the low rise, it's still a big challenge for me because I get to have to get over the fact that my whole stomach is out for the world to see without me being in like a swimsuit at the beach. We've got bell bottoms, we've got low rise, we've got a crop top, we've got super 90s. Makeup and hair, cheers. Feels weird though. I don't know, I'm not used to all this extra fabric right here. None of these jeans have been doing my ass any service. This is definitely giving me like, MTV era. Like I'm pretty sure a pop star of some sort would have worn a something like this. It looks like I'm going to a nightclub at the top and then a kickback at the bottom. So I'm gonna try and make it look like we're going to the same shindig. They are uncomfortable and I am pulling them up every two seconds. Another reason why I don't wear these jeans is because of this back situation. Like it's always messed up and belts always like break right in the middle because I just have too much ass for jeans like this. I decided to do my hair and makeup, very 90s, very dark lip liner with the frosted center and the uh, black eyeliner and the middle part because it's so useful. What do you think of my fit in my low rise baggy jeans? It feels like it's 1992 again. I'm over here just like, what <laughs> on earth? What is going on with this TLC looking? <laughs> 
What on earth is this? Where is these where did these jeans even come from? These are so thick and like so stretchy. I can already feel like the give in them. So they're gonna be great around the waistband. They have sizes that, you know, like stretch across the board. They're very size inclusive. So it's like a, a gray denim wash. I'm curious how low these will hang. Like, are these gonna be hip huggers? Like, are they really low rise? They are the best quality jeans that I've tried on this week. Um, I don't even need a belt when I have them on. Uh, I trust them. They fall at an appropriate length. This is how I got into these jeans. It was a lot of this, a lot of this, a lot of this. It's a miracle I didn't break one of these low belt loops because I literally, this was me. This was me getting into the jeans today. I know before I was complaining of the other jeans, maybe it looked like I had no butt, but this is giving me like, Beyonce booty, but without the real booty. Like this is actually like increasing the little bit of nerves I had this morning about, oh my gosh, I'm bloated and my stomach is out. Now my, my stomach is out in skin tight jeans that are crushing my spirit. I'm working from home. I am definitely more relaxed in my style today. I just have like my usual hair up and put a little something on my face, something on my lips, but nothing too crazy, nothing too 90s. So as far as this style option, I really like the color combination of the jeans and the color of this crop top. To spruce up this outfit, I added this necklace, which I love. And then I took this piece of fabric, which is, I don't know, just like part of Nigerian traditional attire. And normally people wrap it around the waist, kind of like a skirt. But I kind of made like a little bolero jacket situation out of it. Wearing this, I feel a little bit more covered, even though I'm still exposed. And I feel like it's a cool popping outfit. So I love these jeans so much from the other day. I decided to wear them again today. This is my style. It's like pop of color. It's comfortable. These jeans are cool. The best out of all the ones that I've tried so far. So I'm really happy with these. I have my scarf. We're gonna figure out some way to style this. Slowly coming together. Whoa, I don't hate it. I kind of like it. It's kind of, it's kind of regal. I have the black belt on now. They feel great. It's still giving me belly button vibes, but I wore like a crop uh, sweatshirt this time just to pair it with something a little shorter and to give the waist a little love. Just did a big curly bun and tried to do something with my baby hairs. I think it's really cute. It's different. It's not a typical scarf top style and I'm into it. I think I'm so into the scarf top that I'm not self-conscious about the fact that my whole abdomen is still out. <laughs> it's day five, it's day five, it's day five, and I am getting myself ready for my best look of this week. I think I'm gonna lean heavily, heavily into brat style inspiration. So when I'm styling everything, I'm trying to like be really 90s about it. And I've been like going back in my yearbooks and my old pictures and finding things that I used to wear when I was a kid. So I am going to be wearing the baggy jeans again. They were my favorite jeans of this whole entire week. And y'all, I got the Beyonce Ivy Park, Icy Park Ski Tag Sports Bra. I am gonna try and go for like a sporty look, but look, we got we got denim on denim because I have this upcycled style denim jacket that's cropped. So between the cropped jacket and the low rise jeans, it's it's gonna be a situation. I love the newsboy cap, the big hoop earrings, my little curly pigtail situations. I love this sports bra, it is so cute. In celebration of my last day, I wanted to go with something like really far out, really like otherworldly. So it's like alien theme today, my Roswell shirt and my alien Tims, I like to call them. I don't know what they are, but they're just like amazing. I don't even know what these pants are, but they are not cute, they are not flattering and they're probably not staying on for long. So this is my low rise jeans. <laughs> it's got like the nostalgic low rise, but also the like the Gen Z bagginess of it, if that makes any sense. So it's like, it's crisscrossing the two generations, which is really cool. These are my favorite jeans. I give them five out of five. They're comfortable, they're low rise. They're completely out of my comfort zone. I would have never bought anything like this before. And I feel like I'll wear them again over and over and over and over and over.
the jump back in time and like looking at old photos and trying to style everything with like accessories and 90s and even doing like my hair and makeup like I used to as a kid. I enjoyed going back in time. The hardest part of this challenge was definitely getting over my insecurities about my body. But you know, we only get one body, so you have to learn how to love every inch of it. I can say, especially after this week, I do.